Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a daily reading. This is a general reading, okay? So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But this is just a general chat about whatever spirit wants to bring forward to us. This is not specific to love or career or any sort of sign. This is just a general message for the collective, whatever spirit would like to discuss with us today. Um, and this is going to be for Wednesday, January 16th, 2019. Now, this doesn't have to be something that happens today. Um, you know, energies are fluid, so this could happen in the future. This could have happened in the past. However, it resonates with you, yes? Okay, guys, so... Um, I believe that's all. If you would like a personal, if you would like a look into your personal situation, go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below along with all of the readings that I offer. Also, for my Instagram followers, you do get 20% off a general freestyle reading. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you haven't done so already at divine underscore conversations and shoot me a DM. Let me know that you'd like to take advantage of the sale and I will get you all set up. Yeah. Okay, so with all of that said, let's get into the reading for today, guys. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Wednesday, January 16th, 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, we're gonna give a little bit of a shuffle here. And we'll see what we've got. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, one more. Uh, we'll give it two more. <laughs> All right, guys. Here we go. Wednesday, January. Hold on a second. Roll up my sleeves here. Okay. Wednesday, January 16th. Let's see what we've got today. Three of Wands. Okay. So, so far, oh, we have we have a good amount. All right, so far we have the Three of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. All right. Ah, underneath the deck is the Ten of Cups. Okay. I'm going to leave it there today. Um... And spirit is saying just to leave it there. Just to leave it there. So we're going to leave it there. Um, and then we'll get some clarification going. But Three of Wands is waiting for your ships to come in. Yes. Waiting for a return on an investment. Now, what I'm seeing with the Page of Wands here is that um, some of you have really, start, have really started or... Well, for, for the most part, you've already started um, this new venture. You've, you have a new creative vision. You want to go in a new direction. Um, with the Page of Wands, is the, the Page of Wands very much is about self-discovery to me. Um, learning about yourself on a deeper level. Getting to know yourself on a more intimate level. Um, and... Entre entrepreneurship is what I'm hearing here is what spirit is saying here now it doesn't necessarily have to be that but for the most part um, you know that's kind of where this is going here or at least for those of you that are in an entrepreneurship situation um, this most likely will resonate with you so uh, with the three of wands you're waiting for a return on an investment here you've invested in something whether that be a new business um, a new creative project um, it could be a relationship but with the queen of pentacles here i'm just getting mostly a um, financial vibe 
Uh, the Queen of Swords, uh, not the Queen of, okay, the Queen of Swords, that's interesting. We'll see if the Queen of Swords comes out later, but um, to me, the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords are very similar. Um, only the Queen of Pentacles, you know, has more compassion, um, more emotional involvement than the Queen of Swords, but still, um, the Queen of Pentacles is very solid, very stable, very financially secure. She is a very, very much a mother type energy. Um, but she is also a businesswoman, you know, she gets things done. She's about that coin. She's about that money. She's about that finance. She's about the stability though. She's not like, um, she, I mean, she can be, uh, you know, she can be, um, shallow and super superficial she can be egotistical in the fact that you know she's just all she cares about is money but um that would be if she's reversed and i'm not picking up that energy here i'm just picking up an energy of abundance okay and then with the ten of cups underneath the deck i i just feel like wish fulfillment is coming true wishes are coming true and i feel like a lot of you may have already started to or are beginning to find um, you're beginning to find the happiness within, the home within, the balance within. Um, in the Crystal Visions deck, the Ten of Cups is depicted as a man, a woman, and a child. They look like a family. Um, and I've been channeling that as, you know, the balance, the, the family within, the masculine, the feminine, and the inner child all coming together in harmony, in union. And it's from that point that you really want to be working towards whatever it is you're you're desiring to manifest. Because in that in that sense, you're more balanced. Everything is more balanced. Everything is more in alignment. Okay. Now I want to pull one more. We're gonna leave the Ten of Cups here. Ah, look at what's underneath the Ten of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles. So there's definitely something going, there's definitely something manifesting here, okay? With the Three of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, all right? But keep in mind that the Pentacles suit is slow to move, okay? So it's not necessarily going to happen like that. Even though the inspiration may have come like that, the actual growth, the actual development is going to take some time, okay? So I just want to get one last pull for today, Wednesday, January 16th. Let's see one last pull here, Spirit, please, and thank you. There we go. Oh, really? We can't leave it at that. The devil. Now, okay, I understand why this is coming out. <laughs> but then we have the Hierophant, all right? So the devil is coming out because there's fear, okay? There is definitely fear. This is, this is a little bit of a slower season, especially if you're an entrepreneur. Um, but with the Hierophant here underneath the deck, you're definitely learning. So this is a continuation of, the mess, of a message that came out a few days ago um, about learning to keep your thoughts in check, okay? The devil here is the one saying to you that, um, you know, this isn't going to work out. Did you make the right decision? This is the ego running amok. Okay. And we can't, and, and it's not that, it's not that we can't let that happen, but for the sake of your manifestation, you don't want to let that happen. For the sake of, the, of your manifestations, you don't want to let that happen. You want to stay balanced and secure. You want to stay in the knowledge that you're being guided with the Hierophant here. You're being guided. As long as you're doing what you need to do, you're taking the steps to following through with the guidance that you're receiving, you're going to be okay. This is definitely a strong period of time to deal with the inner demon. Now, for some, I'm hearing this is the inner masculine. But this is the inner masculine that's not balanced with the energies of the feminine. This is the, the this is the part of the ma inner masculine that is still somewhat fragmented, still trying to go off on their own, still very much uh, um, wrapped up in the ego. And this is I'm not saying this is this is your like say your divine masculine outside of you. No, this is spirit is saying the spirit is guiding me to say excuse me that this 
part of this energy, this devilish energy, this fear, this um, fear of the unknown, fear of how things are going to work out, when they're going to work out. That 1010, I just saw 1010 completion, but that is part of the inner masculine that needs to be balanced and healed and integrated into the situation, okay? The Hierophant and the Devil, I'm getting very close, very close energy between the two of them because they're, they're just closely related right now in the sense of what we're, what we're learning in this moment of time. For some of you, Spirit is saying this is teaching you to face your fears. What are you so afraid of? The devil. What are you so afraid of, guys? Face that. I'm, give me a moment. I'm just trying to see if I can pick out another message here. But I think we're good. I want to get into the clarification now. And I want to start with the devil. I want to know a little more about this devil energy here. Face your fears, it's the only way out of them. I, would be, I should write that down. I think I want to write that down because I think that's what I want to title this reading. Face your fears because it's your own, the only way out of them. And you see, you have the Ten of Cups is, at, is crowning the reading here, okay? And that's where your focus is. That's where, that's, that's like your trajectory. That's where you're heading to, okay? But then you have this energy of the devil that's trying to hold you back from all of that. That's trying to pull you down and say, no, you can't do this. No, this isn't going to work out. Um, this, that, and the third. And it's like, okay, why is this happening? Why are these fears coming through? I'm going to write that down. Face your fears. It's your only way out of them. And your fears, if you remember a few days ago, that actually might be too long of a title. But we shall see. Um, a few days ago, I was uh, the morning morning coffee was purging lack mentality, right? And so we're still kind of doing that. However, this time it's different because now you're in this Queen of Pentacles energy. You you're you're securely rooted in the financial abundance, even though it may not look like it right now. The devil. OK, it may not look like it right now. And the devil is trying to take advantage of that, trying to make you think or see otherwise. Now, also, also there there's OK, this is the message that I, that I was trying to find that I couldn't quite pick out. The devil is also. And this is why I'm seeing the, the close connection between the Hierophant and the Devil. The Hierophant is the, the higher vibratory rate, the fifth dimensional reality. The Devil is the third dimensional, the, the, you know, the root, the ground, um, earth, the energies of the earth. The Devil is like the necessary evil, the things that you need to do. Like We can all sit here and say, oh, money is not that much of an obstacle. Um, it is, you know, it's just energy, blah, blah, blah. And you're right. That's true. But at the same time, you have to, at the same time, you do need money to eat. You do need money to pay your rent. So that's kind of like a necessary evil. So it's a catch 22. So how, so then the question here is how are you going to view things like this? Are you going to allow it to control you? Are you going to, are you going to allow it to dictate your life? Are you going to say, well, I can only make money if I do this, this, and this, instead of opening up to the abundance of the universe and saying, well, okay, spirit, you show me how I can make this money. You show me how I can, I can generate these sorts of things. You show me how abundance can flow in many different ways. That's the opposition, but that's also what you're learning. And that's what you're embodying with the Queen of Pentacles. 
okay? It's a very strong lesson. It's a deep lesson, and it's an interesting lesson. Um, it might be a little, a little challenging, but ultimately the universe or God isn't source is not going to give you anything that you cannot, that you're not capable of handling. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to get into the clarification here and I'm going to start with the devil. Here we go. Please clarify the devil, spirit. Please, spirit. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil? Okay, well, look at that. All right. Underneath the deck, you have the hanged man. Now, this is the energy from yesterday, okay? So it still applies. It still applies. You are in a precarious position so that you can learn to see something differently. You can see something from a different point of view, all right? That's a central theme for us right now. Things do feel stuck, they do feel stagnant, but that's all because we are in, we're in kind of a limbo phase. Um, like I said before, um, in yesterday's reading, you know, with the hanged man, we are in between realities right now. We're in between the past and the old and the and the new, which is the, the future, okay? But yeah, I don't even want you to think of it as the future because it is here, it's coming, it's just in the still in the process of manifesting a little bit, okay? But you have the three of, wow. Good gracious, this is so cool. This is so cool the way this came out, guys. So basically, basically, to clarify the devil here, to start off with, other than the hanged man, you have the three of wands, which came out here, the queen of pentacles, which came out here, and the hermit, okay? But instead of it showing up as the page of wands, it's showing up as the hermit. And remember, I was saying the page, I, the, to me, the page of wands is about self-discovery. Well, the hermit is all about going within, finding your inner light and shining it. Okay, so you might be feeling like you're going it alone. Now, this again is speaking to those of you that are in an entrepreneurial ship um, position. Okay, now with the three of wands coming out again, um, you're, you're, you're waiting for the return on the investment. For many of you, you've really done a lot of hard, diligent work, and you're working on, and, and you're, you're, you're waiting for the return on your investment. That doesn't mean you should sit back and continue to do nothing because with the three of wands, the best thing to do is to continue working, to continue getting that, keeping that momentum going. And there is a bit of faith that's needed here, okay? With the queen of pentacles, you are abundant, you are talented, you are ready to do this. You have the compassion, you have the understanding, you have the stability, you have the grounding, you have the, you are manif well manifested or you're in the process of well manifesting, yes? And with the hermit, this is about greater self-discovery. Now, this is this is self-discovery that comes twofold, okay? First, it's what you've already learned about yourself and how you're applying that to your life now. But second, it's about what you're continuing to learn. So that, that energy of the three of wands continues, yes? Okay, let's see what else we have here. The five of wands, conflict, yep, <clears throat> confusion, nine of cups, and seven of cups, okay. You have two nines here the Nine of Cups and the Hermit, which is card number nine in the uh, Major Arcana. So these are endings, okay? We are definitely in the process of ending old cycles, yes? Now, there's conflict and the Seven of Cups, there's confusion. Inner conflict though, this is that inner battle. Well, is this really the right thing? Am I doing the right thing? Is this gonna work out? Seven of Cups is the confusion. It's like, well, I don't know where it's gonna come from. That's literally the toss up, yeah? It's the energies of the universe coming in and just doing whatever it needs to do and you're not exactly sure or sure of where it's gonna come from or aware of why it's happening or whatnot, whatever. Yeah. There are, there are infinite ways, there are infinite ways that this can come through, that this can be manifested, and you have to believe that. You have to believe that. 
you have to own it and and then you and that will allow your wishes to come true with the nine of cups you are it, it's like you're sitting pretty here i mean look at this you have the nine of cups down here and then you have the ten of cups at the top of the at the top of the reading and that's where you're going towards so it's almost as if you're already sitting in this nine of cups energy but the devil energy here is like doing whatever it can to get you out of that it's a test guys okay it's it's a it's a challenge you can but you can do it all right i want to clarify this three of wands here oh gosh i don't know why i'm shuffling like this again but i'm gonna do it I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> One more. All right. So we're going to do, we're going to do, let's clarify the three of wands, please, spirit. The three of wands, please. Why is the three of wands here? Now, the three of wands did come out twice. So what is it we're waiting for? A return on. Why is the three of wands here, please, spirit? Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Ace of Cups is underneath the deck. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So we have Ten Ten again. We have the Ten of Cups and now we have the Ten of Pentacles. Um, and they come out quite often for me when I'm doing these readings. Just I'm not just saying just for myself. I'm saying in general when I do readings, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles likes to come out often together. Um, okay, well, well, all right, guys. Looky here, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Now, remember, the Ace of Pentacles was underneath the Ten of Cups in the in the first deck, and you have the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is not a bad thing. Okay, I just want to let you guys know. I'm gonna just put that out there. The Seven of Swords is not a bad thing in this situation. The Seven of Swords is talking about um, secrecy. It's just talking about not being aware of how things are going to come through it's talking about doing something keeping something under wraps and the universe is purposefully purposefully keeping things under wraps right now because number one it's a challenge but number two it's not quite manifested yet how much faith do you actually have in yourself in your abilities in your in in this work that you've done i mean look at guys this is so beautiful clarifying the three of wands you have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, okay? The Ten and the Seven of Swords. <laughs> but the Ten of Pentacles is that longevity. It's that investment. It's that time. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. Neither is the Ace of Pentacles, all right? The Ace of Pentacles is slow to develop. So this process is, is a little bit slow, but that's okay. Because ultimately, I really do feel like... To be quite honest, I feel like you have the abundance, you have the reserve, or you have oh, the reserves, or you have the opportunities around you to keep yourself going. Okay? It's not exactly going to look the way it used to. And it's not supposed to, because this is the new coming into your life, all right? Okay. Ten of Cups. All right. Um, I'm going to clarify one last thing. Um, it's going to be the Ten of Cups here. So, Spirit, why is the Ten of Cups here, please? Why is the Ten of Cups here, please, Spirit? No, nothing. There we go. Eight of Wands. Actually. Ah! Ha, <laughs> ha. Oh, goodness. All right. Underneath the deck, you have the Four of Cups. And to clarify, you have the Four of Pentacles now. All right. So the Four of Cups is talking about boredom, okay? You're, you, you weren't happy with where you were, period. All right. And... Um, Wow, you have, okay, so I'm going to get to this part in a second, but you have the Eight of Wands, Temperance, and the Devil again. All right, so you're moving away, you're moving away from Devil energy. You're definitely moving away from the Devil energy. 
Um, and also what I'm picking up with this is that you are, some of this devil energy is pretty well rooted. So you're having to go through almost like a purification period to really release yourself from this devil energy in order for you to reach this 10 of cups, because that's really the point here. Okay. The point is to, to clear away the path so that you can get to that, which you truly desire. All right. Now, Oh, wow. Wow. I didn't even see that one. But the last three cards we have here are the High Priestess, the Hierophant again, and the Knight of Cups. Now, these two, the High Priestess and the Hierophant, first of all, the Hierophant's coming out again. But second of all, this these are the counterparts between the two of them. Okay. The High Priestess would be the counterpart to the Hierophant and, that, and, and vice versa. So that is speaking to another sense of mass, a balance between masculine and feminine energy within, okay? And this is on a much, much higher level. I mean, these are the spirit, these are the spiritual leaders, the high priestess and the hierophant. But it's leading to greater compassion. Mm. Sorry, guys. I had a hair in my mouth. <sighs> Oh, there we go. Okay. Greater compassion, greater understanding, which is leading to greater emotional availability, um, emotional creativity. The Knight of Cups has been coming out a lot lately. But, you know, to me, especially in these readings where we're focusing on the self, we're not necessarily focusing on an external partner. This is the Knight of Cups is you being emotionally compassionate to yourself, emotionally available to yourself, nurturing to yourself, um, honoring your emotions, honor, honoring your creativity, expressing your creativity. That's really beautiful. So with this balance with the High Priestess and the Hierophant here, that is leading you on your path, that is leading you towards greater fulfillment, the greater a greater expression, that is leading you towards achieving this Ten of Cups energy. It is leading you to, oh my gosh. I mean, look at this, the High Priestess, the Hierophant, and Temperance. I mean, this is that new alchemy coming through here. That's, wow. This is the balance between masculine and feminine. And you see the, the, the butterflies on the High Priestess's card here are all around her. I mean, this is, this is transformation at its finest on a very, very, very deep level. I mean, like, this is transformation so deep you may not have necessarily thought it could ever happen. This is totally transforming your life, and you're leaving the devil energy behind. It's transforming you out of that devil, devil energy. And things are going to start moving pretty swiftly soon, okay? You don't have to, don't have to fear. Things are going to move swiftly pretty soon. You just have to finish the integration. All right? So let's close out the reading here. We're going to close out the reading with the Crystal Mandala deck. And I am going to try and keep these readings a little shorter. I know some days they've been like a, an hour long. But I want to try and keep it like 30 minutes. If that's okay with you guys. <laughs> but... That's so beautiful, the way that happened, the way that came out. I love it. I love it when, you know, the same cards come out, but then with the Hierophant and the High Priestess, that is a, ma that is a massive balance between masculine and feminine energy. I mean, they are really starting to get to know each other on a deeper, more intrinsic level within you. And because of that, you're expanding. Your mind is expanding. Your, your, your feelings, your emotions, your, your uh, manifestation abilities, abilities are expanding. Now, there's still a heavy feminine presence here, but that's because the, the, divine, feminine is, is the divine feminine is still on the rise. And um, the divine masculine is having to heal, and the divine feminine is helping to heal that. It's helping to um, remove the egocentrism and all of the things that come with that. What comes with that at this point right now is the fear of finances, the fear of money, the fear of not being stable enough, the fear of whether you've made the right decision if you've made a big change in your life. 
as long as you were following through with the guidance you received from your higher self in making that change and the guidance from the universe, you're fine. You're Gucci, you're Prada, and you're Fendi. You know what I mean? Like, you just have to get through the transition. Because like I said yesterday, we are in a... We're like in between worlds right now, okay? So best message, please, Spirit, from the Crystal Mandala deck for today, Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? It is Wednesday, right? Yes, Wednesday, <laughs> January 16th. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Ah, wow, okay, this is a good card. Already there is value. This is Goddess Matanji and Heliotrope. So this talks about um, recognizing what you have already that brings value into your life. Um, some of you are needing to look into, I am going to read from the book, but I am pretty familiar with this card because it has come out quite a bit over my time using it. And, and this is actually a really good message. This is a very good way to look at things right now. Look at what you have already. Look at how you've been surviving. Look at how you've been thriving. Look at how you've been floating. Look at how far you've come, okay? And be grateful for that. Say, wow, even though my ego might be flaring up here and there, I'm actually really good. I'm doing really well. Everything's actually going very, very well. Now, it might not necessarily feel that way because it might be pretty tumultuous, but you're still alive, you're still breathing, you're still here, you're supported, you're connected, you have, fam you have a family in all of us. Everything is going well. Be grateful for what you have in this moment. You know, notice what you have in this moment. Card number 43. Also, everything's going exactly according to plan, too. Which is hard to believe a lot of the time, but it is. All right. We bring you the empowerment to see that already there is value. It is natural for creative energy to become excited by new possibilities, new ideas, and new forms. It is also possible, however, for creative energy to become engaged in liberating the undiscovered value within that which already exists, polishing it until it shines with divine light. Sometimes there is a need to shed the past and all associated with it completely, starting afresh. However, at other times, there is something of value from the past that can, if allowed to bask in the light of your creativity, become very valuable for your future. In your enthusiasm to move forward in life, don't forget to take the value that already exists in your world along with you. Well, that's beautiful. That's really, really beautiful, guys. So definitely take the time to, you know, give thanks and appreciative. Pre appreciate what you have. Appreciate what the divine blesses with you with every day. Yeah? All right, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a great day. And I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.